So let's see how the best in the world do it. We join Steve McClure as he attempts to on-site the Groove, a continuously sustained and highly technical 8A plus at Malham Cove in Yorkshire. This crag is renowned for being extremely difficult to root read as the grey and white streaks have a habit of camouflaging the holds. Steve takes his time on the easier lower wall to make sure he doesn't make any silly mistakes that might fluster him. It's important to use this time just to get into the flow of the climbing. Moving through the bulge, he wastes hardly any time assessing the terrain. It's a case of quickly spying the telltale chalk and rubber marks and then using your subconscious to guide you through. Only once he makes the clip from a decent hold does he allow himself to take stock of the next section. Moving through as quickly as possible, Steve switches back to autopilot as he knows it's only a few more moves before he can compose again at another good hold. He's there. A very quick shake just to help him with the clip. And now he reverses to try to recover fully. He cups his hand over the side of the flake to save grip strength, positions his hips centrally and makes his whole body go as relaxed and floppy as possible. Deciding how long to spend at these semi-rests is always a tricky business. Too quick and you won't get enough recovery, but if you stay there too long, you may actually tire yourself out more. But Steve's recovery instinct is highly developed and he recognises the point to go. But having left the rest, Steve finds a better one only a few feet away, which relies on a big foothold rather than a handhold. It's frustrating, but he must force himself to stay here and try to get a better recovery. All he's likely to be thinking about here is the task in hand, and that's getting the best possible rest. Worrying about the terrain above achieves no valuable purpose. You can cross that bridge when you come to it. He sets off, carefully at first, but then soon regains his former rhythm. And this next section is superb. Steve moves fluidly, confidently, and with excellent footwork. You know he's constantly reminding himself to breathe and stay relaxed.
but at this point, as the pump finally sets in, Steve desperately tries to maintain his form. But he's been on the route for nearly half an hour now, and his movements are becoming more jerky. A strenuous clip, and suddenly you can tell he's dangerously pumped now. A split second root reading error, and suddenly it's all over. If only he'd gone up with his left hand for the side pull, instead of over with his right hand for a reverse side pull. The powers of hindsight on sighting can be a cruel game. But you can tell that Steve isn't angered excessively by this. It was an impeccable performance, and like all the best climbers, he chooses to learn from it rather than wasting energy wishing pointlessly that the outcome had been different. <laughs>